Russia and get to know more about this country. So for today, your pilot is Akansha, co-pilot is Jaya and crew member is Indrani. So over to you, Akansha. Thank you, Indrani. Now, today we're going to visit Russia. So Russia, its official name is Russian Federation. And Russian Federation, its Russian emblem, its double headed eagle, and the Russian flag is a tricolor flag with white, blue, and red color. The white color symbolizes nobility, frankness. The blue color is for faithfulness, honesty, impeccability, and chastity. And red color is, red color is for generosity, courage, and love. Now, we'll look on certain national symbols of Russia. National animal is brown deer. National tree is silver birch tree. Nation Let's we talk, discuss about the silver birch tree little more. Commercially, it is the one of the most important sources of hardwood in Northern Europe. And it is the fast growing and tolerates low temperatures in fertile soil and water deficiency. As for these seasons, it is widely planted primarily for wood. Please do not take control over this tree. So for these reasons, it is widely planted primarily for wood protection, but also for vegetation, reclamation or erosion control. Next, national bird is double-headed eagle, which means uses big C in national emblem. And national flower is chamomile. Ma'am, stop, stop sharing. Yeah. Next. Now we move on to location of Russia. It is the largest country in the world and covering 17 million square kilometers and encompassing more than one eighth of the Earth's inhabitants. Land area, Russia. So, Banita, don't ask for control of your of my screen, please. Land area. Russia extends across 11 time zones and has border with 16 sovereign nations. As you can look onto the map of Russia, uh, it's, you, it's another name is USSR, that is Soviet Union, officially the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, was a socialist state that spanned most of the Europe and Asia during its existence from 1922 to 1991. It was nominally a federal union of multiple national republics. In practice, its government and economy were highly centralized until its final year. Russia, you can see Ukraine, Belarusia, China, Kazakhstan, and various countries surrounded Russia on its borders. With, uh, with South Russia borders had North Korea, Ma China. Yes, Nisa, we are visiting Russia. With South Russia, North Korea, China, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan, and Georgia in Southwest and West, its border is with Ukraine, Perilous, Latvia, Estonia, as well as Finland and Norway. Next, we'll talk about the area covered by Russia. So, it's the largest country in the world covering 17 million square kilometers and encompassing more than one eighth of Earth's inhabitant land area which ex extends across to 11 time zones, which I have discussed earlier also. Its population is 146.2 million. 
desktop annotation please please kindly mute yourself it with 146.2 million and its most populous country in europe and ninth most populous country in the world moscow the capital is the largest city in the world, europe and st petersburg is the nation's second largest city currency uh, russian currency is ruble you can see uh, the coins and the paper note of russia russians are and what is the language they used to speak is russians are largest slavic and european nation so they speak russian and most spoken slavic language uh, and native language is euro which is a native language in europe currency is ruble where one ruble is 1.0165 indian rupees economy of russia uh, ma'am shubhanita send me a request to camera control deny cancel shubhanita deny. why you are sending all these things don't send now we take a look on economy of russia uh, it's the strongest economy in the world and it's and it's control all the oil production uh, agriculture sector and various other sector the agriculture sector comprise comprises of 5% of russia's gross domestic product yes kanvi i have requested what is that label i don't know the meaning of label This labor means uh, the people who do hard work labor force people who who are employed in companies and they do work are labor the sector employs about one eighth of the total labor force okay ma'am crops grown crops grown are wheat it is a chief cereal and followed by barley rye oats sown grasses clovers root crop in southern districts and corn meal now let's we talk about the technology of russia So Russia is the first Soviet era saw some of the most significant technological achievements of 20th century. Its uh, its form is world's first human-made satellite, Sputnik One. You can see this a small Earth-shaped globe of certain uh, sp sphere of a certain radius, uh, which is being sent to Earth elliptical orbit, and uh, it also sent its they also sent their first human in space named Yuri Elkeshvich Gagarin. now we talk about the language and the government of russia so russians are the largest uh, slavic and european nation and they speak russian so the most people of slavic language and most language spoken language in europe and government is federal semi presidential constitutional republic with president as well to me to team and uh, prime minister is mikhail mishustin uh before visiting to various places in russia i would have a one uh, good video for you uh, they have please share the video so now we are going to visit some of the uh, beautiful places in russia So the first place uh, is Petropavlovsko Kamchatka, located in Russian Far East. It's the city of Petropavlovsko Kamchatka. It's surrounded by volcanoes. In, it's an uh, there exists an active snow-capped volcano, so the, no one can reach to, to there by road. But there's a city light to the uh, right side of this uh, mountain volcano, Avesha Bay. a great place for a water side stroll and to catch a whale watching too as you can look in the picture uh, the road side uh, reaching to this mountain which have a whale like look next is atle mountains Atle Mountains is in Siberia, which extends from Russia to China, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia. Uh, it contains frozen rivers and snow-capped mountains. Uh, it has museums. Uh, the one of the name of the museum is Denisova Cave in Siberia, and is particularly significant because of bone fragments and artifacts, and even prehistoric uh, horses that have been here. Uh, they have been uh, dating from fifty thousand years back. 
now moscow which is one of the capital of russia it's a great place to visit and it contains kremlin red square and the colorful saint basil's cathedral located over there you can have a picture of this cathedral and the shopping mall come with its glass and steel roof of the shopping mall is popular destination and the state tetrarch yakov gallery which houses only russian art the pushkin museum for more international collection and the cameron arboy museum for a look into some unique items such as ivory throne of ivan the terrible and gold covered imperial carriages the bolshoi theater is one of the largest ballet and open theater in the world please do not annotate sushi this is another place it contains the longest river in russia mezyamta cuts through sochi before it empties into a black sea and it's very popular destination for river rafting uh, 3000 square kilometer from russia it has a biosphere reserve called kosekshian state nature biosphere reserve which is just 50 kilometers from sochi and is uh, recorded in the unesco world heritage site next is the russian tundra uh, we have a biosphere reserve of two types tundra and taiga uh, if it i talk about tundra then it's known for its permanent permafrost it's the only biome that we have it is the uh, this such, such type of biome found in coldest region and uh, few of organism do find here due to uh, cold region and during summer months there are few centimeters of permafrost in the ground thaws and become soggy so during winter months the entire ground got frozen and in taiga region we have a caniferous forest a uh, coniferous forest which contain pine shaped trees uh, which are very useful to shed the ice uh, do not stay on the leaves of the trees and will shed automatically the coniferous forests are plants that spread their seeds by using cones like pine cones this is another olkhon island it's world it contains the world's largest lake island uh, of Oklon is covered in steep mountains lush forest and taiga region and village there's a small village all which uh, contain a national history museum of revyaki ma'am yes tanvi i have annotated on not this red color ma'am i have annotated on a word what is that word ma'am in the previous uh, slide oh uh, please do not make annotation Stop Oklon share and share again, island. Akansha. Can you please disable the annotate? Yeah. Ma'am, I didn't annotate, ma'am. For once, I, I I have to know that name, ma'am. Ha, huh? what is that? Uh, the, it's an Olkhon Island. Is that a name, ma'am? Yes, it's a name, Tanvi. Okay, ma'am. And uh, what is Taiga? Tundra and Taiga are the forest biomes. there are two types of forest biomes tundra and taiga in taiga biome you have coniferous forest coniferous trees pine shaped trees okay ma'am thank you okay uh, next is vladivostok vladivostok ruski bridge it's a stunning architecture marvel and it contains the longest cable stayed bridge in the world you can look in the picture these are long cables uh, along the bridge Uh, and it is one thousand eight hundred and eighty-five meters long bridge. Next, we move on to some airlines to Russia. But before that, I would like to share share the one beautiful video of places to visit in Russia. Say so please share again. In Russia. So first airline is Aerolof airline, the flag carrier and the largest airline of Russian Federation. The airline was founded in nineteen twenty-three. making aerolof as one of the oldest active airlines in the world aero aeroflot is headquartered in the central administrative okrug moscow with its hub being sheremet yovo international airport the airline flies to 146 destination in 52 countries excluding code shared services next is S7 airline 
legally JSC Siberia Airlines. It was Russia's largest domestic airline with its main bases at Domodedovo International Airport and Tolmeshevo Airport. It is a member of One World Alliance. Next is Russia Airline. It's one of the oldest and largest air carrier of the Russian Federation. It was founded on May 7, 1934 and it is part of Aeroflot Group. Russia is the largest and the base carrier of Polkovo Airport, which is in St. Petersburg, which is the second largest city of Europe. UT Air Aviation. Russian airline with its head office at Kante Mansiyask Airport, while its hubs are at Surgut International Airport and Bunokovo International Airport. As you see, Bunokovo is one of the best places to visit in Russia. So, it operates a scheduled domestic and some international passenger services. Along with it, there are various other services available like helicopter services, extensive charter flights with fixed wing aircraft and helicopter in support of the oil and gas industry across Western Siberia. Thank you. That's all from my side. I hope you like the videos and presentations. Did anyone have any presentation to me? Thank you, guest, for your valuable time. So that's all. I will visit Singapore and see its beauty. So that's all. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, mom. Have a nice day. Bye, mom. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, which country we are going to visit tomorrow?